Welcome back. Let's play yet some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. I was watching some videos by. Well, good luck. By a strong um, amateur player. And it gave me some ideas about what sort of castle we could uh, compile. I might only do that once, so let's uh, do this and get it over with. Uh, there it is. I don't even get credit for it, because I played my gold up. Um, that's fine. We'll have to find a way to get credit for that. So... My king is escaping out to a place where there's not much shelter here. Um, okay, they block their bishop, so I can open this diagonal. And I block my bishop, but I have some plans to unblock it. But yeah, our opponent attacked so aggressively that my original idea of building the so-called invincible castle uh, crumbled. It did not succeed. To succeed, I would have had to... Um, I'm not sure something different than what I did. I think not play this gold up first. So I'll have to change it up. I'm trying to collect all the little badges. And they're cute. But that one perhaps is not worth collecting. It's going to be a lot of hassle to get. Um... If our opponent insists on doing nothing over here, we could bring the bishop out this way instead. Although the silver covers this point. Welcome. Oh, that's weird. I mean, what I've done is exceptionally weird, but that's modestly odd. Um... Okay. Hmm. <laughs> We've made quite the mess, haven't we? They're intending to bring this silver up soon. Um. Okay, we're going to try my luck on this, and hope that I'm lucky. So, this knight cannot advance, and if the silver advances, and if we exchange pawns, oh, then that's actually a fork, but the silver would be floating here. So once my silver retreats, I could take the knight, they take my silver. Okay. Um, regardless, I have a pawn in hand now. Or soon. Um, so there's my pawn in hand. Next I'm going to push here and then take the rook. I push, they take, I take. It's uncomfortable. If I move this first... Um... My position's a bit safer. So if, at first I was trying to prevent this silver from moving up by threat of dropping a pawn here to win the knight. But now I'm threatening to move this pawn up as well as drop a pawn here and start attacking the rook. 
So I don't want a lot of chaos to happen right now, other than whatever happens is the course of me attacking their bundle. Um. But yes, hello, welcome. For visual interest, let's throw a proverb up here, see what we get. Okay, if I push this... Wait a second, that doesn't win a tempo. This does let them put their silver in hand. Um, and so their silver is no longer blocking a bishop. But now I'm threatening a silver drop right here. And they don't have a knight drop. Um... I was considering, do I drop the silver here instead? And I stopped considering it. Probably should have completed considering this, because, yeah, what I've done is not smart. Um, okay. And Shogi, you are not forced to capture things. Unless you're in check, and that's the only way out of getting checked. Uh, Alright. They still don't have a knight. Oh, fuck. Uh, this could get messy. This could get oh so messy. All right, so they want to exchange rooks, um, but also I'm threatening to win a bishop for nothing. So, mm -hmm. hmm, I could take two pieces for one. Piece quality starts to matter soon. Um, if I retreat, bad stuff happens. All right, let's exchange. It'd be nice if I could force this king to move. Um, but I don't see an easy way to do that. If the bishop moves up, I guess I could hit it again. Okay, the bishop doesn't move up. Still, I have other ways to hit it. Um, hmm. I could also take this lance, um, which looks really nice to take. Alright, let's try this. What scares me is how all my pieces are lined up. Go for um, That's not good. This could hurt a lot. Assuming it hurts at all. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, let's pray that that escapes mate. They're threatening a silver advancement here. Um. So this gives my king a square to escape to after they check me with the silver. Um. But also threatens to take here. I think I'm far too optimistic about my own chances. Um. So they could drop a rook across this rank, and I don't have a way to defend this square. So I guess I am checkmated. Unless somehow my king escapes forward, which it's not going to last. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, so I am just simply made it not even close. Well, no, I could take a gold general, and a gold general could defend. We do what we have to do. And I could drop another rook, because I just gave them another rook. Okay, that's not a rook, though. It doesn't matter. Um, Sampun. they dropped the gold that they needed to check mate my king on the head with, but they do have a rook in hand, so the rook should substitute here for a gold. Also, they can exchange gold generals, so yeah. Looks like I'm not going to win this. Oh, taking that seems unwise, now that I think more about it. Um, didn't matter, but some other hypothetical position, maybe it mattered. Uh, blocking the check would have been an attempt to survive. I didn't even think about it. Uh, I should have thought about it, but I don't think it works. Thanks for the game. Alright. Let's play another. I was trying to collect the same avatar that I saw somebody else collect. Or the same badge. Um, let's see if... Good luck. We'll see if I can get it this time. It's a work of art. Don't try this at home. I guess it's the moral of the story. But Shogi Wars does have a badge for it, so there it is. That which shall not be named. Um, that said, <laughs> uh, this is extremely rough. Um, we have a castle that's prone from every direction. Um, only the squares right next to the castle are defended. So. I wonder if I manage a rook exchange. No, this is still a mess. All right, we'll defend over this way and over this way and try to transition to our other favorite castle. But it's not going to be pretty. Um, well, 
This gives me a tempo. Let's use it. So now we're threatening to take the pawn on the bishop's head. Alright. We execute our threat. And we have two pawns in hand. Let's bring the bishop out. We just might get to play our other favorite castle today. Um, Alright. Let's defend some more squares. Bring this out. I wonder if it's going to give me credit for this. Um, so if I take that, hmm, that's not smart. This is the smarter course of action. So we'll just drop the rook back. There it is. That's yet another sticker badge thing that we've claimed. Um, as for why, I don't know. It was kind of fun. Um, so... Hmm. But what to do now? That's the real question. Okay. If I take knight takes, hmm. All right, despite how much I enjoy my rooks, the rook is not my best piece ever. Um, All right, I'm going to pick a fight over there. Might not even, even be a fight I could win. All right, they defend this. Um, let's exchange. It's a good time to exchange pieces since I've defended uh, a bit more than they have. Not a lot more, but a bit more. Um, Knight takes his forced. Although secretly, or not so secretly, I was hoping that they wouldn't play Knight takes. Um, but now we have a tough position. Nanafun. Not sure how to proceed. I mean, this looks dubious, but what to do? It's a mess. Um, so I want to push on this file and hope for a tactic. Okay, they push on the edge file. Um, I would like to see some exchanges, so sure, let's do that. Maybe I'm thinking too much in the abstract. Um, I 
least maybe I'm not okay with every possible exchange here. Um, so my knight protects uh, this pawn indirectly. Yeah, I've lost my lance. Yeah, my initiative's dead. But my king is safer than theirs is because I have a castle. And they have a glob. Um, so if I can just exchange some pieces, I can eventually start attacking here. Um, and yeah, this gives them something... The fact that I keep this bishop in hand means they have to keep considering turn after turn after turn, as do I. Can I drop a bishop in a way that wins material? Um, so that's where we're at. Oh, they could drop a pawn here. My bishop's still prone. I need to activate it. Interesting. Alright, I will take a lance. I now have two lances. Maybe I don't need to activate my bishop if they're just going to exchange everything. Um... Okay, this is a clever series of tactics that does win my bishop for a lance. And then allows them to drop a rook with gain of tempo. So, um, yeah, I should have activated my pieces instead of taking everything. That said, I was so excited by the idea of attacking this corner. Um, but yeah, next they're threatening... To drop something to win my bishop. Um, that's a threat whether or not I take this, so that shouldn't stop me from taking this. But yeah, I saw that coming. Just not a zillion turns ago. Um, Alright, I attack your knight. Yeah, I'm supposed to aim for the king. But I want to take... Oh, crap. I should have taken this first. No. I can't allow them to drop a bishop next to my king. Alright, so we're improvising a castle here. The important part is that I'm going to do this bishop drop, and it's going to hit the gold and whatever the hell they drop over here. Um, Gofun. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's weird. <sighs> they need to evaluate every turn how I can attack them. They can't just assume that they get a free pass. This is prone. Like, I can drop stuff, a, a gold general here, but that doesn't help my cause. Um, this is hanging. Attack the loose piece. Loose pieces drop off. Um... Oh, I can't drop that on the edge. That would have been a cool drop. It's not legal. 
Um, Something. All right, I'm gonna try to defend my king against a rook drop. Weird. That's slow. Well, no, that is slow. I stand by it. Let's do this. All of your pieces are hanging, sir. So that gives me Tempe to attack. I don't need my Lance. The bishop drop here was nice because it covered this important square. Um, I don't know exactly how important that square is. Okay. Um, that's astounding. I wanted to take the silver, but thought that might not hit hard enough. Um, that's kind of amazing. Okay, I need to remove that attacker. I don't necessarily need to remove this one. So they have no gold general to drop. So if they do defend with the gold, it's by moving this, which is definitely weakening. Um, All right, I offer my rook. Do you want it? I guess they don't want it. My king is in a lot of danger. Um, I don't know which way is more dangerous. I don't know. My dragon defends this point, so I could block with the lance back here. If I had a pawn, I could block with the pawn, but I don't have a pawn. My rook's not prone to some fork yet. But... Perhaps soon I lose it. That'd be sad. Yeah, so right now I'm most prone to rook checks. Um... They don't have a lance. I have difficulty reading these pieces in the opponent's hand. Uh, escaping forward, I should have considered, despite my extreme time pressure, escaping forward might have been necessary. That's uh they hit a gold general. I didn't think I could escape, but um, this escape is not going very far. They're going to drop a bishop, and the bishop's going to defend their king, and uh, maybe this was the right way to go. It looks terrible. Um, I don't know.
Hmm. I'll take my chances. As if I haven't taken a thousand chances already. Um, but no, I think I think I'm okay. I can drop the bishop here. Um. My bishop also defends this square next to my king. Oh fuck. I might be dead. I thought my king could escape into this corner. Um, because my dragon's covering a lot of squares. But, yeah, they've got lots of pieces here. Um, I want to get this right. Alright, I'm not allowing a bishop drop here. There's no bishop drop here either. I don't have enough time to win this. That was wrong. Thanks for the game. All right. Bummer. That was exciting. Um, I think they'll work on their end game as well. I. All right. Well, I collected some stickers. Those are fun. Thanks. Uh, good luck. Let's perhaps try something a bit different this time. Well, that's also a way to go. Simple and straightforward. Let's do this. Um,
So I'm playing provocative openings today, it seems. Um, and the only part of that is encouraged by the site. Uh, Alright, if I push... Hmm. Let's exchange, because this is where their king is located. If for no other reason. Um. So they can defend this point, but can they defend this silver? Or this file, even? I'm not sure. I did just make my rook prone to this advancing pawn. Um, so I'll have to uh, play with some aggression here. Alright, that's check. And yeah, you get my lance, and I think I'm okay with that. I activate my bishop. Maybe I had something crushing. I'm a bit anxious. I imagine why. Can't imagine why. Um, so if I take that, my rook is, or my dragon is trapped by a lance drop. That said, losing my dragon to a lance, there would not be the worst fate there. Um, like, I'd still have a decent attack going, but it's not fantastic. Instead, we'll attack this direction. So we're hitting this knight. Um, okay, I could promote. Um, hmm. could drop a pawn here. If I drop a pawn, we exchange pawns. They drop again, set up the same trap. Oh, my bishop's head is prone. Oh, that's no good. So I can't just idle about here like I enjoyed doing. Um, if I drop a silver here, that's a bit unusual, but seems to foot the bill. Uh, if I drop it there, they don't have a way to oppose. So if we exchange silvers on this square, I promote with gain of time. Or without loss of time, rather. Or else I could have promoted directly. Oh, fuck. How did I miss that? Alright. I just... That's kind of amazing. Sure. All right. So we'll offer the silver here. I was so excited about the prospect of attacking for once um, that I forgot a dragon could get trapped here also. All right. So oh, this is going to be a mess. Um... Let's take something for the dragon. And then activate the bishop up here. Defends the silver. Attacks toward the king. And pretend that I have no weaknesses, even though everything is hanging. And I have no initiative. Although, if I drop a lance here, uh, they'd have to block it or something. Um. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about that. Although I did 
that is one of the generals protecting their king. Um, if Rook takes, I guess I drop a gold here. And that renews my threat. Sure. Um... I don't know what to do. Aim for the king. I know I'm so tempted to aim for this rook. I like my rooks. A rook is a beautiful attacking piece, but it's just one of many pieces. The king is over there. There's only one king. So if I can take this and promote, and then I'm threatening to like drop right in front of the king, then I have an attack going. If I take... Well, I outnumber this. I have three attackers, they have two defenders. Go three is more than two. So let's do this. That said, I'm exchanging off my attacking pieces. I'm not happy about that, but... Um... A knight might... No... Bishop takes, silver takes, gold takes, I'm threatening a knight drop, the king just runs. I can only get so creative here. Um, so I have the knight either way. Um, I'm threatening mate in one. So they'll either have to counterattack stronger than that, or they'll have to defend against the mate. Uh, that is neither. Thanks for the game. That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Uh, there we have it. Three very, very sharp games that perhaps... I don't know. It's fun to try these things once in a while. Don't try it at home. Um, yeah. We're all learning this game together. Um, the Invincible Castle is not actually invincible. It's a meme. If you try it, you will lose. But maybe you'll learn something along the way. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.